history of cool. Abby Hoffman was cool. He wanted to evolve the spirit. He wanted to evolve the human experience. He wanted to break through old barriers. He was fierce about it. He was fierce when he was throwing rocks at cops, and he was fierce in his languaging. He was fierce in his imagination. You know, he just thought, let's break the system up as much as possible because it's heading us towards disaster. He really was, in many ways, a revolutionary. It was cool in the kind of irreverent kind of repartee we would have and the craziness he would show in any given moment. Just the flow of Abby and his willingness to challenge, yeah, have you thought about this and how about this and how about that, you know, that was cool. Cool represents some opening of a window of imagination in people. It seems to be in alignment with the innate creativity of the human being. It opens up a sensibility to us when we first see it and we say, oh, that's cool. The people creating the system that most manifests the fact that there's homelessness and the fact that there's nuclear weapons, power has to be removed from them. They're unevolved children in the larger sense of what we need. So we have this insanity built into the system. And radical sanity says, okay, let me start with me, and then let me start with you, and then let me start with the social order, and say, are we doing things that actually support life and benefit everybody, or are we doing things that are just selfish and privileging one sector against another? Call for cool. Who do you think is cool? Interview them and send it in to make some at historyofcool.com.